earlier this year, I had a chance to review the Dell XPS 13 9300, and I liked it so much it earned my editor's choice for the 13-inch laptop category, and for good reason, with that frost white color, really loved it. I also like the 10th generation Ice Lake processor with the integrated Iris Plus graphics. Performance was very good on that thin and light laptop, but I couldn't wait to get my hands on the upgraded model. Dell released the XPS 13 9310 with 11th generation Intel processors, that's the Tiger Lake processors. It also has integrated XC graphics, which are an upgrade over the Intel Iris Plus graphics. We'll get more into that in this video. We also get that beautiful 13.4 inch Full HD Plus Infinity Edge touch display which is absolutely gorgeous everything remained unchanged in terms of the design and rightfully so because that is a great design hey everybody it's andrew and this is my review of the dell xps 13 9310 running the all-new 11th gen tiger lake processor coming up Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. And make sure you follow me on my social media, especially Twitter and Instagram. It's on those platforms where I post a lot of the updates. And why not check out my Discord server? It's a great place for us to hang out and talk tech. Link will be in the description below. And today's video is brought to you by all the members who contributed this month to the channel. Want to become a member? Hit that join button below. And in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Dell. I'm not being sponsored by Dell. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is seeing this video before it's released. This review unit is on loan from Dell. And once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. Pricing starts at $9.99, but if you go over to Dell.com right now, it is on sale for $9.79.99, and that'll get you a Core i3. That's the entry-level model. I would get at least a Core i5, or what I have on my review unit, a Core i7. And if you're going to get that model, that has the 11th gen Core i7, as we mentioned, 16 gigabytes of LP DDR4X RAM, that's faster than the last model, 512 gigabytes of SSD storage, Intel XE graphics, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, and that comes in at $1,649. And with the specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. And one thing you'll notice right off the bat, packaging is the same as the 9300 I took a look at earlier this year. Opening the lid, you're greeted by the unit itself. Same exterior with that Arctic Frost White. I gotta say the layout of the accessories is really nice, giving a really nice unboxing experience. Now, they do give you an adapter in the box. It's a USB-A to USB-C adapter, which you're gonna need because there is no USB-A port on this laptop, as I'll show you the ports in just a little bit. Now, you also get your 45-watt USB-C power adapter. It's the same adapter we saw with the 9300, very compact. And you also get an extension cord. And finally, you get some documentation and warranty information as well. And just like the 9300, which has the same exterior, it also has the same weight, 2.64 pounds or 1.2 kilograms for the non-touch model, or 2.8 pounds or 1.27 kilograms for the touch model, which I have here. This is thin, light, sleek, and super premium. I absolutely love the design of the XPS 13. And for those that prefer the platinum with the silver exterior, black interior with that carbon fiber, that's an option as well. And as we always do, let's check out the port selection. We'll start off on the left side where you get one Thunderbolt 4 port and a micro SD card reader for storage expansion. Moving over to the right side, you get a second Thunderbolt 4 port and finally a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Of note, there's no USB-A port on this laptop. The internals are exactly the same as the 9300 I reviewed earlier this year. And as you can see here, it has the same 52 watt hour battery. We'll get into battery life and charging times later on in this review. It also has dual fans for cooling. We'll talk about thermals a little bit later as well. Now, as far as what's user upgradable, the SSD is user upgradable. So if you want to expand that out, you have that option. Unfortunately, the RAM is soldered into the motherboard, as is the Wi-Fi card. So that is something to keep in mind. Now, they're using the killer six wi-fi card here it is wi-fi six making it pretty much future proof for the foreseeable future but again not user upgradable 
And it also has the same display options as its predecessor, the 9300. You get that 13.4 inch display. It's an infinity edge display with the micro bezels. It's a full HD plus resolution and a 16 to 10 aspect ratio, which of course is very welcome. Now, if you like your displays to be really bright, you're going to love this laptop. Now, Dell claims this display will get up to 500 nits in terms of brightness. I actually measured 526 when I turned off the adaptive brightness in the Intel utility, making this an excellent choice for both indoor and outdoor use. And they also noticed very minimal glare and reflections. You got to love it. And for those content creators out there, you're going to love this display as well because it covers the color gamut very well. 94% sRGB, 71% Adobe RGB, 71% of the DCI P3 wide color gamut, and 66% NTSC, making this a good choice for Lightroom, Photoshop, and of course, video editing. You're looking at really deep blacks, really vibrant colors, good color accuracy, and it also has really good contrast. This has got to be one of the best, if not the best, IPS displays out there. It's not OLED, but it has a lot of the characteristics we look for in an OLED display, namely the deep blacks, the very vibrant colors that pop off the display. And as I mentioned earlier, this has the multi-touch display. There is a non-touch display, of course. I like having touch that gives you the ability to navigate through the OS with your finger. It's pretty convenient, and it was very responsive. Bottom line, Dell's hit another home run when it comes to the display. Excellent job. So this is the front-facing camera on the all-new Dell XPS 13 9310 here for late 2020. It's a 720p, 30 frames per second webcam. It's also an infrared webcam, meaning you can log in with face recognition with Windows Hello. Nice that they were able to retain that, of course, from the 9300. Again, physically, this is the same device. Uh, under the hood is where you're going to see all of the changes. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. And just like on the 9300, the power button doubles as a fingerprint scanner, working well, registering my finger each and every time I used it. And just like the 9300, this has the improved keyboard over last year's model. It has that really good tactile feedback, good key travel, and it doesn't feel like your fingers will bottom out. It also has the multi-stage backlight, which of course allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. It all worked well. Now, of course, it has the same glass touchpad. It's a precision touchpad that's very responsive. Two-finger scrolling is buttery smooth. All the Windows 10 gestures work well. Very, very nice job on this touchpad. While the exterior has remained largely unchanged from the 9300, most of the changes you're going to see happen internally under the hood. We now have 11th generation Tiger Lake processors. This is the Core i7. And as you can see, significant improvements when it comes to graphics. That's because this has the integrated XE graphics, a really nice improvement over the Iris Plus graphics. And I saw big improvements when it comes to gaming. Now I got 84 frames per second on GTA 5 versus the 59 I got with the 9300. Same goes for Witcher 3, Dota 2 Reborn, and you get the picture. You could play a lot more games on this at better playable frame rates. I like the improvements we're seeing with that integrated XE graphics over the integrated Iris Plus graphics. And like any really thin and light laptop like we have here, if you're going to put it under heavy load, when you're going to play games on it, it will start to heat up. It will start to get very warm. Now, I did run my stress test, my Prime 95 stress test, and I noticed that it would go up to 4.1 gigahertz in terms of the CPU with a core temperature of around 78 degrees Celsius. That would run for a few seconds and then drop down to anywhere between 2.5 and 3.1 gigahertz and stabilizes at a core temperature of 71 degrees Celsius. So it does get pretty warm but what we're seeing here out of these integrated XE graphics with the 11th gen Tiger Lake processors is playable games when you're putting this under heavy load so it's been pretty good although it will start to get warm you will notice the fans they are going to kick in under heavy load but nothing obnoxious nothing terrible and just like the 9300, this has the same 52 watt hour battery and it did 10 hours and 47 minutes on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits. That's about 35 minutes better than the 9300. And that's a not a huge difference, but a little bit more longevity with the 11th gen Tiger Lake CPU. Now, as far as the charging is concerned, it took less than two hours for a full charge with the included 45 watt USB-C charger. And just like the 9300, we have the improved speakers on this, giving you really good sound, filling up a small room rather nicely, giving you good volume, good mids, and good bass. I really like the sound on this compact laptop. 
All right, let's wrap it all up. What do I think of the Dell XPS 13 9310 here for late 2020? And the answer is, I absolutely love it. Once again, we get that stunning 13.4 inch Full HD Plus display. It's a beautiful infinity edge display with the really small bezels, elegant and sleek design. I absolutely love that frost white, comfortable keyboard, really nice responsive touchpad, 16 to 10 aspect ratio, which you know I absolutely love. Much improved graphics with that integrated XE graphics graphics a nice boost over the iris plus graphics we get that all day battery life impressive speakers what more can i say the negatives largely remain the same no usba port ram and wireless lan are not user upgradable there's no adaptive sync but you know what not real deal breakers in my book this retains the editor's choice award that i gave it earlier this year improving upon an already winning formula dell has hit a home run making the dell xps 13 9310 worth your money So what do you think about this bad boy, the XPS 13 9310? A nice upgrade over the 9300 under the hood. The move to the Intel 11th gen processors, the Tiger Lake processors is a good one. Not a huge update over the 10th gen, but where you're going to see a real nice performance boost is in its graphics. Things like gaming, video editing, Photoshop are all going to work better with the XE graphics. Again, a nice 30 to 40% boost in performance. Beautiful Infinity Edge display, 13.4 inch full HD plus, uh, 1920 by 1200, 16 to 10 aspect ratio. Didn't need to change that. It was working very well. Also very good is the battery life. We get a little bit better battery life from the 11th gen CPU. Now, as far as the thermals, you will notice some thermal throttling under extreme load when you're gaming. It does get a little bit warm, but that is gonna be typical of any thin and light laptop. But the fan noise wasn't too bad. They will kick in under heavy load, but nothing too loud, nothing too obnoxious. Uh, overall good sound on this with the speakers on this and a big improvement from last year as we saw with the 9300. Nice keyboard, nice touchpad, they're all there. Again, everything as far as the exterior has remained pretty much unchanged. Now, of course, you don't get a USB-A port on this. They do give you the dongle in the box, which is a nice touch. Uh, you do get two Thunderbolt 4 ports. And the reason that's important, that's an upgrade over the Thunderbolt 3 from last year. So you're going to get a little bit more of the full power with it. You can power one 8K monitor with this or two 4K monitors thanks to those Thunderbolt 4 ports. But I'm curious to know what you think about the XPS 13 9310. A nice little upgrade, not a revolutionary upgrade. The design has remained the same. We're going to get all the changes under the hood. I think the graphics upgrade is enough to say, yes, this is a definite recommend in terms of upgrading. If you have the 9300, you're probably fine. But if you want to play more games with better playable frame rates, then take a look at the 9310 with its better graphics. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.